Good morning, FlossTube. My name is Leanne and I am Leanne Stitches here on YouTube and on Instagram. Today is Sunday, December 26th, and this is my 25th floss tube. Um, it's also probably my last floss tube of the year 2021. Um, I started this channel on January 1st, and I'm pretty sure that this is going to be my last regular floss tube update of the year. So that's kind of crazy. Um, I do plan to do a finish parade. Um, to show a lot of the model stitches that I've been working on all year that I haven't really been able to show. Um, and then on January 1st, I plan to do a um, whip parade. Whip is work in progress. So um, yeah, I'm super excited about doing those to see, mostly because um, on the whip parade, now that I can edit and put in like my starting point pictures, I'm really excited to see um, what I got done this year, um, I know, I know I've gotten a lot of stitching in, but sometimes with all of the work stuff that I've had to do, um, it feels like I really didn't get to work on things as much as maybe, wait, cut, rewind. It feels like I didn't get as much work done on things as I probably did. I think that makes sense. I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't have a whole lot to show you today because um, I kind of deviated from my plans a little bit or, you know, a lot. Um, but I had fun. I had so much fun stitching this week. I was done with work on Wednesday. And aside from doing payroll, um, I should probably do it today. Um, I'm, I'm done for the year answering emails and stuff like that. But that that's easy. I can do that from bed. And I have like year end stuff to do and planning for next year and stuff like that, but I do not have to go back into work for the rest of the year. And it's been amazing. And I have pretty much sat and stitched and done nothing. I mean, we had Christmas. I cooked Christmas Eve dinner and wrapped presents and did last minute shopping and, and, and lots of baking. But, um, it's been, it's been really, really nice. I really needed it. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the sensation of like your entire body just shutting down because you've been riding an adrenaline high for so long and that second your body realizes, hey, we're on vacation, it just completely shuts down and you just sit in bed and do nothing. That's been me. Um, but I'm excited because uh, tomorrow we're leaving. We, we decided this year to do a very small Christmas presence wise. And we really wanted to focus more on experiences. Um, cause we figure that, um, that's what the kids are going to remember. They're not going to remember what they got for Christmas in the year 2021, but they're going to remember that time we took the trip or they're going to remember baking things. They're going to remember the cinnamon rolls that I made because my grandpa always made cinnamon rolls with me, things like that. So we've really been trying to focus on that this year instead of presents. And I think it went over really well. The kids are super excited over what they did get. And that was really nice to see. And, um, and then tomorrow we are leaving and we're going to go to Nashville for one night and we're going to stay at the Opry hotel. I'm cashing in every single last one of my hotel points for this trip, um, that I've been saving since the beginning of COVID. And, um, we're going to stay in the Opry hotel for a night and get to see the Christmas decorations there. And then we're heading up to Kentucky to the, the Ark Encounter, which is where they have that um, replica of Noah's Ark. And uh, we've just heard amazing things about it. So we thought that would be fun for the kids. And, and since my mom's here, we, we generally like to go somewhere where she's here because she doesn't get to travel much um, when she's home. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. But that also means not much stitchy time for next week because I really don't stitch that much when I'm out of town. I tend to knit more because it's easier for me to carry um, in the car and and doing the hotel rooms and stuff. Anyway, um, let's get into the stitching, shall we? Um, the one thing I did from my plans last week that actually happened this week <laughs> is um, I worked on Reader's Paradise from Heaven and Earth Designs. And this is, the artwork is by Amy Stewart. Um, and uh, here's my teeny tiny. This is on 25 count, easy grid, easy guide, magic grid, magic guide, I don't know. 25 count pre-gridded. Um, and I just filled in up here and just keep kept, kept filling in that corner. And I think I only worked on this for one night. So um, I think I maybe put in five or 600 stitches and that's it. I had planned to work on it another night, um, but I'll get into more of that later. So yeah, 
I really love working on this piece. It's so much fun watching all those details pop in. And I like zooming out on, um, on Pattern Keeper and seeing like kind of plotting where I'm going to go next and seeing, well, I could go here and I could stitch this because there's just so much to this design. There's so many details. It's not endless background. So it's really a lot of fun to stitch on. So Tuesday, that was Sunday night. I think I worked on that. So maybe Monday. What day was Christmas Eve? Oh my gosh, my days are so screwed up when I don't work. <sighs> okay, well, whatever days I worked on that, maybe I worked on it for two days. I don't really remember. The point being that one of the days when I got home from work, I think it was Tuesday, um, I, you know, put the kids to bed and I, I got ready to get my stitching set up and just... I was ready to move on from Reader's Paradise and I started thinking about getting out mini tea and books, which is what I had planned to work on. And I just wasn't feeling it. And so I sat and I stared right behind me, down on the floor, you can't see, I have two bins. And one of them has all my full coverage projects and one of them has all my non-full coverage projects. And I started looking through, I just started flipping through and just nothing was appealing. And I was thinking about the package that arrived on my doorstep. I literally woke up. It, it had to have been Tuesday. I woke up Tuesday morning um, and opened the garage door to go to work. And there were three, two boxes sitting there and a little mailer envelope. And I, I knew exactly what was in the mailer envelope. I had, I had ordered it last the week before. And I thought about it all day long. And then I got on Instagram, you know, as I'm dying yarn and doing, doing inventory and doing whatnot, all the stuff I was doing at work. And I just saw everybody stitching it. And so when I came home and was flipping through my stuff, just nothing seemed right. And so I, I was like, I just, I got to start. So I went through, I, I'm going to, I'll get to what I stitched in a minute. And if you follow me on Instagram, you already know. But um, I started looking, I don't have a big fabric stash. I mean, I have fabric at work that's for sale and I can pull from that if I need to, especially if there's like imperfections in it. I, I we put those aside for sample models and, and stuff like that. And I can use those to stitch. But um I really don't have a big fabric stash. And so I'm like, well, I really want to start it, but I know I don't have fabric. And I started flipping through my bins again and I found a little bag like this and it had a piece of gray fabric in it. And I was like, well, it's a little lighter than I would go if I were planning, but I think it's going to work. I measured it out for what I wanted to do and I went for it. So on Tuesday, I started the Fox. It's from, it's the first in the Year in the Woods series by Cottage Garden Samplings. Samplings? Yeah, Samplings. And I've become obsessed with them. Everything they're putting out right now, I just love. Um, so yeah, I started it. I couldn't help myself. Um, and I stitched on it Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Because Friday was Christmas Eve, right? Today's Sunday, the day after Christmas. So that makes Saturday Christmas. So yeah, Friday was Christmas Eve, which I had my Christmas Eve start. But so I stitched on this for three days. Um, and it's on, here it is. That's what I got done. It, it went so fast. I mean, granted, I wasn't working, so I had a lot more time to stitch. But I got the whole fox done, and then I started on his tail. And it's just so much fun. I've had so much fun stitching this. Um, so it is on, the fabric is my morning mist, um, and it's just a really nice neutral gray, um, with some pretty good modeling to it. And at first I was worried that it was going to be too light and the white wasn't going to show up, but then I realized that most of the white is encased in other colors. So I'm really happy with it. Um, and, um, here's my little needle minder. This is by Twin Mommy Creations. Um, she made those for our um, Valentine's Day box last year, and I grabbed one. Um, so I'm using the Called For DMC, and then instead of the, I think it calls for Gentle Arts. Yeah, the Gentle Art. Um, instead of chalk, I'm using my Vanilla Blossom. And I just had this left over from that sparkle um, cross stitch that I showed you, showed you, it was still on my table and I was like, well, Hey, I'll just use that. Cause I was just going to use white, but I saw that and I thought, well, I'll use that. And then, um, it also calls for the gentle art burnt orange. And 
I thought about just using the called for DMC. It's 921, um, which is a really pretty orange, but I went to work on Wednesday and I was like, well, let me just see if I can dye something. Um, cause I didn't, I, well, I looked on my wall first and I didn't have anything that was the shade of reddish orange. Um, everything I have is either super bright or leans. If it's, if it's more of a fall tone, it leans more yellow. So I figured I'd try it. And, um, on my second try, I got this color and I really love it. And it's really, it's, it doesn't look super variegated here, but on one end, it's really close to the, the 921. And then on the other end, it's more reddish. And so it stitches up really fun. And I'm kind of a lazy stitcher um, when it comes to hand dyed floss or over dyed floss. Um, I know you're supposed to, you're not supposed to loop start and you're supposed to stitch one X at a time so that the variation really comes through. And I don't do that unless it's a super variegated color. Um, I do a loop start and I do one leg out and one leg in. So um, I don't get as much variation in my stitching as I could if I did it the right way but it works for me because like I said, I like to enjoy my stitching and that's how I enjoy it. Um, but what I did was I took one little strand of DMC 921 that I had and, um, and I just brought it to work and I, and I got this on my second try. Like I said, um, the first color, um, that I got was too brown. And then, so I just adjusted it a little bit and got this and I'm very excited. I'm going to call it Amber. Um, and I don't know when it's going to be in the shop whenever, or I mean, we're closed right now. So whenever I, whenever I get to it, it'll go up in the shop probably, you know, next month when I get back. But yeah, um, I think I already said, I've just really been enjoying this stitch. I haven't even taken off the Q-snap. That's how much I enjoyed it. But I had plans and on Chris, no, what day was it? My last day of work was Wednesday, so it must've been Thursday. Um... I met Sarah down at, met Sarah from Memphis, uh, Memphis Sarah E. We met down at Hobby Lobby because all week I'd been working on fabric for our Christmas Eve start. We had planned to start Miss Christmas Eve by Mirabilia. And I wasn't super crazy about this. I mean, it's very Christmassy with the red and green, but I wasn't super crazy about it until um, Teresa Little Stitcher did a video where she had gone to a convention or a, a retreat. And um, so you can see my little yarn phrases popping in like hand dyed instead of over dyed and convention instead of retreat. Um, but she went to a retreat and she filmed a bunch of the FFOs, which is fully finished objects that people had brought to show off, I think is, is what happened. And someone had brought Miss Christmas Eve and did it on this beautifully variegated gold and gray and it had little bits of um like rusty red in there and it was just this beautiful hand dyed fabric and Sarah asked if I thought I could dye something like it and I'm I mean I don't know my dyeing style doesn't lend to that level of variation with that many colors in it but I was I was willing to try and um so I spent all week last week at the studio just trying one color after another and the first try, I didn't look at the video before I tried the first, the first batch. I just went off my memory and, um, my memory was wrong and it turned out much more Halloween-y with very, very dark gold and very dark black. And so we scratched that one, scrapped that one right away. And I tried again with a lighter gold and a lighter gray. And, um, and then I tried to put some red on it and it came out beautiful, but all wrong for the project. It's again, it's, it's very... I'll show it at some point, but it's, it's very regal looking and that might actually be what I call it. It's, it's just, it's too busy for this project. So I tried again and I just did the same combination of gold and gray and just left out the red and I loved it. Um, Sarah thought it might be a little too, um, variegated still. So, um, I tried one more time and, um, she ended up using the last one. I brought it all to, all to Hobby Lobby where we met cause I had some last minute gifts to buy and, um, and I felt like I was dealing fabric out of the, out of my trunk. It was so weird. Um, we had my trunk open and she was like looking at every single piece of fabric, seeing which one she liked the best. And Zan from Crazy Pan Lady Stitches was there too. She had texted Sarah and was like, hey, are you at home? And she's like, no, I'm going to Hobby Lobby. And Zan said, well, hey, I'm at Hobby Lobby. And so even though Zan lives by me and Sarah lives down in Memphis, we were all in the parking lot at Hobby Lobby looking at fabric. 
Um, anyway, so I ended up picking from that third batch and um, I could not be happier with how it's turning out. Here is what I got. And I pretty much have stitched on this for the last two days and done nothing else. Like I said, I did make Christmas Eve dinner. We opened presents. Um, we opened presents Christmas morning. and But basically, I've been stitching. And I'm just, it's just so much fun. Look at that. Um, I've basically finished her top half, except for the beading and back stitching. And um, I just love these like flourishes of gold and the bits of gray. Um, and yeah, it's just perfect for me. And so I just started in, I finished her top half and then I just started in on the, the green skirt, which goes on forever. It's miles and miles of skirt, but I can't wait. Um, it's my first time using silks because there's some Karen water lilies. There's four different colors of them. They are... This, all this in here is Karen Water Lilies. There's some in her little hair piece and this down here. And then there's a bunch of it also in her dress. Um, so yeah, there was something else I was going to say about that. I don't remember now. But, oh, the reason why I wanted to stitch her top half this time is because I've been working on Miss Christmas Eve. Not Miss Christmas Eve. That's Miss Christmas Eve. I've been working on Royal Holiday and um, also Trick or Treat Fairy. And on Royal Holiday, I've just been stitching her dress. And then on Trick or Treat Fairy, pretty much the same thing. Like uh, on Royal Holiday, I'm focusing on the bottom of the dress. And on Trick or Treat Fairy, I've really been stitching the whole dress. So this time I really wanted to get the top half of her so I could stitch her face and her hair and all of that stuff. So it made it a little bit of a different experience than, what, than the other Mirabilias I'm working on. So that's been a lot of fun. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put her down for the day and work on the piece that is, I don't know if you noticed, it's missing from today's update in Marvel Heroes. Normally it's my first piece I show, but I have not worked on it at all. And I actually coined a new hashtag, superhero sad or what? <laughs> um, because I just, I haven't even wanted to work on it at all. And I really want to get that page finished for the end of the year. So I, I'm debating on putting Miss Christmas Eve away and working on Marvel Heroes today. So we'll see. Um, I don't really have any plans for the week because we're going to be gone Monday and we get back Thursday. And I just, I don't really know. I don't, I'm going to bring something with me. I don't know what it is. It might be the Fox. I kind of want to bring something with a paper pattern because it's a little easier than having to bring another device and another charger and all of that stuff. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants. Um, I do want to show you the finish. Um, it's mostly FFO'd. I did finish this that I talked about at length in the last video. If you haven't watched it, you can, but it's really just me talking for a good 20 minutes about something that happened to me that really bothered me. Um, so yeah, um, it's not the perfect finish. Like this is a little wavy in here, but, um, I found this board at Walmart and I got some gold spray paint and uh, my husband helped me just spray paint the outside with gold sparkle. And, um, and then this is just on a foam board and it's just hot glued on there. Um, and then I want to find a trim to put around the edge and I really think it'd be fun to get a big sparkly bow. And I'm going to hang this, um, like I mentioned last week, I'm going to hang it in my daughter's room because she sparkles and she needs to know that that's okay. So yeah, I'm really happy about it. My daughter is over the moon about it. Um, Noelle, who she turned nine yesterday and I'm not okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that. And um, speaking of Noelle and her sparkle, I have to show you this. She gave this to me one day last week. I don't know. It's this little lunchbox, Christmas lunchbox. And in it, there's all these little folded up pieces of paper. And then it says, open when you orange, open when you're stressed, blue, when you want to hear a memory and red, when you want to laugh. So open an orange one. And so she colored them all. And the orange one says, 
You can do it. I believe in you. And then here's a blue one, which is a memory. And it says, drill, drill. Know what that is? Daddy making the first garden bed. And that was when my husband was making um, our raised garden beds. And then the red one is, here's the red one. And I don't know if this will come across. I'll see if I can insert the video because it's hilarious. It says, G, potatoes. Mommy, say toe. And G says toe. Mommy, may. G, may. Mommy, toe. G, toe. Mommy, tomato. And G says, potato. What do you, what are they? Potato. Say toe. Toe. May. May. Toe. Toe. Tomato. Potato. I don't like it. The whole thing is just full of them. And I mean, when I say she sparkles, guys, she sparkles. She's amazing. She thinks of these little gifts all the time. And she just makes them. And she... So, yes, that is for her. I'm going to cry just sitting here thinking about it. So, before I do that, <laughs> I hope everyone who celebrates had a wonderful Christmas. I hope um, you have a very happy new year. And um, I hope whatever you do, you lead with love. Bye.